Perry Perry here from chilihead.coza. Hello. Uh, today I'm going to do a taste test of a um, of one of the uh, Caribbean chilies. Um, this one is uh, belongs to the uh, seven pod or seven pot uh, range of chilies that come from Trinidad. Uh, the full name of this one is actually the seven pot. Barakpo, the Trinidad Seven Pot Barakpo. Now, um, having done a little bit of research, um, I can tell you that uh, a lot of the Seven Pot uh, chilies come uh, from uh, the from Trinidad, uh, hence their name, Trinidad Seven Pot chilies. Um, they all go by a different ending, so we've got the Barakpo, we've got the Jonah, we've got the Dugla, we've got the Maruga. Um, a lot of the time, the name at the end of the uh, seven uh, Trinidad seven pot string is actually just the it's it's their place of origin. So in actual fact, Barakpo is nothing more than a uh, region in uh, or an area in Trinidad, uh, actually close to, I don't know if it's a city, but close to Debe uh, in Trinidad, where I would presume these uh, particular plants, seeds, chilies come from. So having explained that, um, what can I tell you? Uh, these pods, if you look at it closely, have got the lumpy, bumpy, pimply kind of Skin that you would expect from a hot chili. They um, are twisty and foldy as one would also expect from Caribbean chilies. They do tend to have these folds in them. These are all signs of a very, very hot chili. Now, there's not a lot of information about this. In general, your um, seven pot chilies can range anywhere from 800,000 to, in some instances, as high as 1.8 million, um, who knows, maybe even even higher than that. This one here, um, for lack of information and knowing or ever having tried one of these, I would say maybe a million Scoville units is, um, is about the, the benchmark for these. It, it does come with a fearsome reputation. It is one of the super hot chilies um, on this planet. It is to be treated with respect. Um, it is apparently a very tasty chili, um, and uh, and one that I've grown for for two years. Uh, last year, I, I never had pods on my plants. Um, the, the plants were planted very late, um, and this year we've had pods very early in the year. The pods vary. Some of them are uh, sort of more roundish. Um, definitely look very much like a uh, seven pot, uh, I always refer to them as seven pot red. Um, I, I presume if you don't know where the seeds or have any sort of um, uh, proof of origin, one, one should possibly call them a seven pot red. Um, a seven pot is a seven pot is a seven pot, but let's give this one a taste test. I'm going to take this one because it's got a very interesting shape. The shape is actually a lot more like a boot jalokia or a ghost pepper. Um, in fact, this whole chili does remind me very much of a, um, a ghost pepper or a boot jalokia. It has the same skin, the same folds, the same texture. But let's see, has it got the same perfumey smell as a um, boot jalokia, which obviously is the Indian counterpart. I'm going to cut this one open. Gosh, I'm a little bit nervous and hesitant about this one. Quite a nice inside, the pith, everything, a very nice sort of red, uh, orange color. Um, yeah, it has got a different smell, um, without a doubt. Um, your nagas, uh, your ghost peppers, um, your butchulakias have a very perfumey smell. Your seven pods have very much more of a fresh, fruity smell. Uh, not so much perfume as it is um, kind of a distinct, mm, kind of like to an unsuspecting nose, um, come eat me kind of smell. 
but of course these, these chilies have to be treated with respect. I'm going to take uh, just a couple of minutes to uh, take out the seeds here before I eat this. Um, I can see already, and maybe you can pick that up on the camera there, um, there are, I can't get the light to, there we go, you can see there's lots of oil in these pots. Um, that oil, of course, is the, is the capsaicin. Um, this is what uh, makes chilies um, give their burn. Um, the capsaicin attacks the uh, the nerve uh, receptors, the pain receptors in, in our mouths and that's what causes the, uh, the burning sensation of course. Um, just by the by, birds eat chilies and don't have the burning effect because birds are one of the few species on this planet that have no uh, pain receptors in their mouths. Um, yeah, there's a bit of useful, useless information. Um, okay, so let me tell you about bees and how they grow. Um, it's a small plant, um, in my experience. Uh, again, uh, a plant probably that ranges from 30 to 50 centimeters in height. Um, could quite possibly grow uh, to, to a taller height. It is still early in the season, uh, maybe a little bit uh, premature to, to put a height um, to add a height to these based on what I'm growing, um, they may, yeah, they may very well grow, grow taller. Um, quite a, quite an oily chili this one. Um, done with the first half, doing the second half. A good grower, um, a uh, absolutely no problems there doesn't seem to be affected by um, insects or rodents or anything like that. Um, I think they probably have better things to eat than these very hot pods. Um, I have noticed on some of the seven pods, like your, uh, some of the seven pods I've grown, you do, you can get pepper maggots um, that bore holes in these and then obviously they go off uh, on, on the plant. Um, but this plant has not shown any signs of that this, this season. Um, a good consistent grower producing loads and loads of these pods. Um, I would say, you know, average size pods, um, not too big, not too small, just perfectly right. Again, I'm going to try and show you uh, the, the oil. I can't get the light to quite quite a lot of oil in that, uh, that chili there. Anyway, that just means that I'm going to squirm a bit more here. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, I am, but I'm not, um, if you know what I mean. Anyway, right, so it's, it's got a very sort of a fresh, herbaceous, fruity smell about it. Um, as I say, not, not that perfumey smell you get with, with Nagas. Here goes all or nothing. Oh, this is going to be sore and, and, and hot and burning. Um, cheers. Sweet, buttery texture. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Wow. So that's deceptive. Having said that, very perfumey taste to these. Mmm. Straight to the back of the throat. Nothing much at the front of the, the mouth. Lovely, lovely buttery texture. Just a tiniest little splash of um, of sweetness right at the beginning. 
And actually, once that was gone, quite a, in this instance, the, the pod is quite, quite a herbaceous tasting pod. Very vegetative, herbaceous. That peppery burn starting to kick in right away. This is going to be a hot chili, I can tell. Mm. Trying to get the um, bits from in between the mouth and the teeth. Again, it's the front of the mouth. It's giving me a real glow here. My ears are starting to get really warm here. That is hot. My goodness. That is a, a warm, a warm chili. Still building, still building. It's got the, <coughs> it's got that heat when you breathe out. To reach that status where you've got hot coals in the back of the throat, at which stage it makes my eyes go. It's got a real heat. <coughs> That is really quite a hot customer. I would say this is probably hotter than your, what I always classified as your mares, the tears. It's kind of affecting <coughs> all of the mouth right now. The hot coals at the back of the throat are now more like a hot branding iron at the back of the throat. This is a very, very hot chili. As I expected it to be. I would say this is probably over a million scalable units. I would probably... It all <coughs> depends on growing conditions, really. Um, it's giving me a real red face there. And you breathe out, and that heat just comes out of the back of the throat and gets even hotter. It's got a very ulcerating, hot, red hot burn at the back of the throat. But some very nice flavours going on there. It's um, on the verge of giving me little twitches here and there on the face. This is a very, very hot chili, and uh, one that shouldn't really be eaten if, you, if you're not into hot chilies. Where would you use this? Um, the Barakpur um, is, is uh, yeah, this is, this is hot. You could use it to make powders and sauces, obviously. Um, it, could, it could be used for, for stews, definitely. And you would not need a lot more than one of these to, as they say, eat seven pots of stew. My goodness, that is hot. That has got my, e my eyes going, my ears are twitching. It's right here at the back of the throat. Feels like somebody's shoving red hot coals in the back of my throat. But, over and above that, um, we've got some very nice flavours going on there. Starting to... Uh, the nose is going... That is hot. Um, nice fruity flavours starting to emerge from that initial peppery burn. Very difficult to talk um, with this kind of burn at the back of the throat. Definitely, definitely looking forward to an ice cold glass of milk. Um, but uh, this is definitely a, a kind of burn that's going to go on for, for some time. I can tell. Very tasty. Um, initially, the flavour, very sweet um, on, on, on the, the very first taste. 
that was superseded by um, almost a bitter, not 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 very pleasant um, taste to it. Oh, my eyes still going, my ears are still twitching. This is probably closer to about 1.3 million, 1.2, 1.3 million scoville units. <clears throat> I've tried some of the hotter ones, and I would say this is this is definitely a very hot one. <clears throat> As I say, um, growing conditions can vary. It depends on how much rain they have had, how much watering, the soil condition. That saliva <clears throat> is burning, and it's just going round and round and round. The air coming out of my throat is making it hotter. The saliva as a swallow is making it hotter. Oh, my nose is running. I'm a war zone. My goodness. This is very hot, ladies and gentlemen. The Trinidad Seven Pot Barrack Pour. It's got a reputation and it is there. And I know what that reputation is. I understand it fully. Um, I truly. Um, it is one of the very hot seven pod uh, pot uh, chilies that are out there. Yeah, that is that is me done. Uh, I'm going to go to the fridge now. I'm going to get myself a well-deserved glass of fresh cold milk. Um, I'm glad I've tried it. It's one of those where I say, I'm glad I don't ever have to try it again. It's a awesome hot chili. Um, it's a good grower. Um, it doesn't suffer from bugs. It's got a good yield of pods. So yeah, go get your seeds at chilihead.coza. We have them in store. They're fresh. They're from the season. You can grow them. You can eat these. Uh, good luck. Um, that's me, Perry Perry, signing off. Cheerio.